I'm Nairi Arazian, a clinical supervisor at Didi Hirsch in Glendale, and I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about parenting babies and young children during the global crisis. Now that you're spending more time at home, you may have noticed an increase in certain behaviors with your baby or child that has been difficult to address. For example, issues with sleep or refusing naps, issues with eating, more tantrums, or just dysregulated behavior in general. These behaviors typically occur in times of stress because children can feel the stress in the environment around them and may not know how to express how they're feeling. So here are some things to remember as you're addressing these things when they come up. First off, you wanna adjust your expectations. Remember that we're in a global pandemic. Things are ever changing and you wanna remain flexible. So your home might be more messy than you're used to it being. Your kids might have more screen time than you'd like for them to have. You might have less alone time or less time with your partner. Remember that this isn't forever. Find ways to stay calm and regulated. This can be as simple as taking five minutes a day to have coffee by yourself, going for a walk with your child or by yourself. It could be doing a yoga video or just finding someone to connect with who you see as a source of regulation. Try to maintain a routine as best as you can. Now this might not look perfect, but children really respond well to predictability. So before bedtime, you might say something like, in five minutes, we're gonna get ready for bed. Then you might help them take a bath and then you might read a bedtime story and then go to bed and try to sleep. The more you maintain this predictability, the more likely their behavior is going to be contained. Help your toddler identify what they might be feeling and offer them words for what they might be feeling. During a tantrum, you can stay calm and say something to the effect of, I can see that you're really frustrated because every time you try to build the Legos, they fall down. That's hard. Let's take a break together. Provide warmth, comfort, and love. And this could look like a hug. When children are feeling out of control, they need to feel contained and safe. It's okay to maintain boundaries, but you never wanna withhold your love. Your hug or touch can be a very calming experience for your child and can help them to create the space in their mind to then relax and share with you how they're feeling once they're calm. And lastly, don't take it personally. Every child goes through challenges and it doesn't make you a bad parent if your child is having big feelings and is having a tantrum. Think about what their behavior is communicating to you. It's typically not intentional defiance toward you. It could just be that they're picking up on the stress around them and they're feeling overwhelmed. And just remember, you're not alone.